March 13th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Oh, with everything going on in Japan, there are many, many, many stories out there. The, dev the devastation is vast. I've uh, been watching a lot of before and after pictures of communities all along the coast of Japan. Uh, we're just getting started. EarthChangesScott.net Quake moved Japan by 8 feet, according to the USGS. Well, the story goes on explaining how the plates work and um, one plate's pushing under another. But they didn't really describe exactly which direction 8 feet Japan went. Did it go down? Did it go up? Did it go over? Japan quake causes day to get a wee bit shorter, and like I reported last night, uh, the axis was off by as much as 10 inches. Um, they've got a piece on the super, the super moon phenomenon. How one scientist thinks that it will affect uh, the magnetic field and how as it pulls on the Earth and all that. Uh, just more pictures and videos of the devastation from the tsunami and uh, the J Japanese quake. And um, they've been, I've been getting a lot of questions about this one video, Land Moving in Earthquake in Japan. Uh, apparently this American's walking down the sidewalk and water seeping up through the edges and you're actually the whole thing sips. Well, if you watch the video all the way to the end, he explains that he is on a man-made island in Tokyo Harbor. So that's where they just filled a bunch of dirt, made a big pile. And uh, when the big earthquake happened, of course, that shifted. He's lucky the island didn't sink all together. Uh, something fishy in Acapulco. Mass, masses of sardines, anchovies, striped bass, and mackerel surge close to shore on Friday Beach on the Mexican resort city, packed so tightly the surface they look like an oil slick from above. Delighted fishermen rushed out in wooden motor boats, abandoning their rods and nets and simply scooping the fish up with buckets. Wow. And that was, I'm sure, have to do with the tsunami and... <clears throat> all the things going on with that. Um, here's a story after Quake 10,000 still missing in Japan. I know the official number is right around um, six or seven hundred or so, uh, but I've been seeing reports of there's, a, there's an entire half a town missing. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Again, they've got the story on parts of Japan already showing signs of, of disintegration and then they have that one um, land moving earthquake video as an example and again that was a man-made island <clears throat> and they got this the story entire town washed away and again I've been watching um, photos and just craziness uh, explosion rattles uh, Fukushima Fukushima a nuclear plant in Japan. I'm getting off of Twitter that six reactors are now in trouble, two of them critical. Um, the number three has lost its cooling system. Number one has already exploded. Uh, the radiation levels have now reached an unsafe level. They are walking around in radiation suits handing out iodine tablets. People are reporting sick to the hospitals with radiation sickness already. Um, but again, the meltdown's not official. And I put up some videos on that earlier. Over to a story that was given to me by Eastwatch today. North Dakota continues to dig estimated 800 stranded on roadways that has severe winter storm in North Dakota. North Dakota continued to dig out Saturday from a fast-moving blizzard that barreled through the state the day before, sending an estimated 800 motorists along Interstate 94 and U.S. Highway 83. Governor Jack Darmuppel, 
ordered the North Dakota Highway Patrol to use aircraft Saturday to search for any motorists that might be stranded. And a uh, big storm moving through the, <clears throat> the northeast over to the RSOE, uh, state of Miss Mississippi, uh, reported a complex emergency. They declared a state of emergency due to torrential rains. Um, rivers and streams overflowing, just a uh, deluge downpour. Uh, they've got the North Dakota story. And of course, uh, tsunami stories, uh, earthquake in China where they had damage. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the volcanoes in Indonesia, flash floods in Indonesia. And of course, I had the video on um, the volcano in Japan that, that is erupting as I'm filming this. Over to Disaster Alert Network. Um, they've got a story, five miners rescued. One remains missing in the Philippines. Uh, apparently, due to torrential rains, they had a, a mudslide and it covered over a, a gold mine that these people were working in. And uh, they had to get dug out. <clears throat> That is about it for today. Uh, as far as the story lineups, I know I didn't catch everything. Uh, it's been a really, really crazy day. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below or attach your video. Um, until I see you again, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.